In this video, we'll compare liquid cooling vs air cooling your PC, highlighting the pros and cons of each so you decide which is best for your machine. So, let's get started. Liquid cooling, the flashier option for temperature management. Liquid cooling offers incredible performance combined with a visual appeal that no other cooling system can match. In these systems, liquid, typically water transfers heat away from components and is generally much better at heat management than air alone. Liquid cooling systems are available in many variations but are most commonly seen in an all-in-one AIO system configuration. How does it work? Liquid cooling works very much like a radiator in your car or home. These systems circulate liquid through water blocks which rest on top of the chip that is being cooled. The relatively cooler liquid circulating through the water block pulls the heat away from the chip, cooling it. Thermal paste and a base plate rest between the water block and CPU to help improve the heat transfer properties. The heated fluid is pumped to the radiator, where fans expose it to cold air. The recooled fluid is then returned to the water block to be heated, and the cycle repeats. Liquid Cooling Pros Quiet Operation Fans and radiators tend to rotate slower and quieter than those attached to heatsinks on air coolers. This makes liquid cooling a PC ideal for users concerned with acoustics. Best Heat Regulation Liquid cooling allows you to push your PC components to the absolute limit while maintaining safe temperatures. It is the best cooling option for overclocking. Liquid Cooling Cons Complicated Installation Installing liquid cooling in your PC can be a daunting task, especially when implementing custom systems. There are multiple pieces that need to be delicately connected within your machine. Possible problems and maintenance. Liquid cooling is far more complex than air cooling, which also means there are more areas in which a liquid cooling device can fail. Leaks can be catastrophic and failure to properly maintain your device could result in component damage. Air cooling, while they may not be quite as effective as liquid cooling systems, air cooling systems are still a viable option. In fact, they are the most common type of cooling system used in PC today. PC air cooling systems are consistent, cost-efficient, and easy to install. They provide the safest way to cool your PC while requiring the least amount of maintenance. Air cooling is ideal if you are hoping to build a PC quickly at a lower cost. How does it work? Like with liquid cooling. A plate is attached to the CPU with thermal paste in between. Heat is transferred through this plate to a specially designed piece of metal called a heat say. Heat passes through the metal upwards due to its specialized design. A fan then pushes the warm air generated by the heat sink away from the CPU and other critical components. The attached fan will automatically spin faster to increase cooling when needed. Air cooling pros, sufficient for most users. Air cooling works just fine for most tasks. In most cases, high temperatures will not be an issue unless you are pushing your PC to its limits. Activities such as fork gaming or detail heavy rendering, however, may be too much for air cooled machines. Easy to install. Installing an air cooler can be as easy as securing some screws and properly plugging in a cable. There is no need for filling liquids or stretching hoses, which saves time in the build. Air cooling cons, they up space. Air coolers take up quite a bit of space in the center of the case and can make accessing other parts such as RAM a problematic and tedious task. Lon, air coolers need to increase their fan speed to cool your CPU in stressful situations. This can come with a significant increase in volume compared to liquid cooling systems, not ideal for peak performance. When using your PC for cutting edge gaming or performance intensive workloads, air cooling might not be enough to cool your components. Overheating can limit the potential of your PC and even cause components to fail. Now it's your turn. Which one impresses you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, do share and subscribe to our channel for further video notifications.